Hi, the final part of the four-part series of uh, Canadian versus American cars. Now we're going to do the Meteor. And here's a picture of a 49, but we know it's not a 49 because it shows a 50 part to life, but the 49 had the same grill as a Mercury did. And so 1950 also had the same grill. And they're based on a Ford body sold by the uh, Mercury dealers in Calgary as they wanted a Ford base model to complement their Mercury there. And they were selling Lincolns too, but that was the first year that Meteor came out. And there's the uh, side view of a 50 Meteor. And they're basically using Mercury hubcaps that year. And you can see here they're kind of a rectangular tail lights on it there and using the mercury grill but they were using a Ford body but they had the Ford interior too and the Ford tail lights and they had a chrome handle on the trunk as the uh, Ford had a painted one and then 1951 they changed again and they had their completely own different grill that time that was not used with anything else and 52, 53, 54 was uh, this body style that Ford used but they quite often used uh, mercury interiors and uh, instrument panels on some models and some models didn't and this is the uh, Niagara and it showed the uh, glass roof on it which is the same as the, uh, the uh, Ford in the US and they were pretty much the same except the grill had a little star emblem in the middle and then 55, they changed again and went to uh, a Ford body again, but they had different side trim than the Ford did. 56, changed again, and you can see the big sweeping grill in the front and the revised side trim. And then 57, they changed again, the same as the Ford, but they were all Ford interiors in and out, and they had kind of a star emblem in the middle then. And then 58 was similar to the Ford that year, except the grill was different. And the 59, uh, they had a different grill again. They had a little rectangles in the front and a different hood emblem, and, and the side trim was almost the same. And in 1960, this is what the uh, Meteor looked like. They had the uh, Moncom Rito 500, a Rito, and you can see the different grill on it. And they went to triple tail lights on the back. As you can see there, I think they were very similar to what they used in the Lincoln in 58. And it shows the uh, forward instrument panel that they used. And the seats were strictly all forward. And this 59. You see how they uh, were comparable to the Fords, uh, very similar. Montcalm and Rito and Rito 500, a little bit more side trim on, and you see the Montcalm seats. And the 61 got a bit of a change again, and you see how they use uh, totally different tail weights on the back that were not used by anything else that year. You can see they're totally different from the Ford. And the front end was totally different too from the Ford. They had widely separated headlights. And this was the Moncom series. Same as the Galaxy interiors. Convertible. Four-door sedan. And you could get a six or a V8 in it. The interior of the Rito 500 and the Rito 500 exterior. And the plain Jane Rito. And the station wagons, the Rito 500 and the Montcalm. And 62, 63, they were the same as the US Meteor, so it was no point to show them because they're identical. They, they were the downsize, um, midsize models. And then 64, they came out with the Mercury based uh, Meteor that year and stayed that way to the demise and you can see it was exactly the same as a Mercury in the front end and it had the breezeway window and the Mercury tail lights 
and everything about it was the same as a Mercury Monterey that year though this was a Meteor Custom and the interior is the same as a Monterey and then the convertible Tudor hardtop and the Ford Dash and the station wagons and the interior and then 66 and 65 are very similar so I'll just go right to 66 and it shows how the uh, grill was different from the Mercury again it had a kind of a two-part grill with Meteor in the middle but used the same bumpers and the tail lights are a little bit different and they were kind of using a 65 uh, trunk lids from the Montclair that year and this is the S33 model and it shows the interior which is a all strictly Ford like the XL had and then the Montcalm double sided keys and Montcalm interior is same as the Galaxy Montcalm again Rito 500 and Rito two door sedan which is a void of side trim and the Rito interior which is the same as Ford Custom Rito 500 uh, says so the custom 500 and the station wagon models and 67 they had the station wagon the Rito 500 uh, Moncom interior Moncom and the Rito which is voided side trim and the plain Jane interior and the Ford Dash and then went up a step to the Rito 500 which is the same as uh, Monterey uh, the interior is identical to Monterey except for the Dash and the Ford or sedan and the hubcaps that they used that year were like Ford and then the Montcalm and the Galaxy 500 interiors that they used and they had the Meteor emblem in the middle of the steering wheel and the uh, hardtop and convertible uh, Montcoms and then they had S33 model and the Tudor hardtop and convertible and the bucket seats and console that were standard and then the Montego and it shows the like the LTD type interior in that and an AM FM radio was available and the Tudor hardtop Montego and Montego again and it shows the Ford instrument panel and a 68 wasn't too much difference but there's a 68 model and it shows the uh, Montcalm Tudor hardtop fastback and it shows the Le Moyne, so they changed it to Le Moyne as a um, top of the line that year and it shows the Ford instrument panel again and with a Mercury body and the Le Moyne interior which is the same as the LTD interior and the Le Moyne convertible and then the Montcalm they could get two different roof styles that year Fastback and a formal hardtop, and then the S33, which is a bucket seat uh, model with console, a sporty model, and then the Montcalm Ford instrument panel again, Mercury body, and then the Rito 500, which is basically the same as the Monterey. Uh, same interiors of Monterey that year and then the straight Rita was to avoid a side trim and it had a very plain Jane interior in it and 69 they had a major change again and that's what they looked like they looked like the Monterey again in the front grill and headlights and parking lights and that was the Le Moyne model top of the line I see the back end is basically like a Monterey and it had the Ford instrument panel. 
Lemoyne Tudor hardtop in the interior. More interior views of the Lemoyne. The S33 model convertible and Tudor hardtop. And the Moncom Tudor hardtop and convertible and interior, which is the same as the Galaxy. Four door hardtop, four door sedan, and interior. And the Rito 500, the interior, and the uh, sedan, and the Rito, which is void of side trim again and had a very plain Jane interior. And then they had the station wagons, the Moncom and Rito 500 in the Moncom interior. And then the options that were available in it. You see the Ford instrument panel, and the radio, and clock, etc. Optional steering wheel. They could get an optional V8 in it. They came with the six cylinders every year, the Meteor, until about 1970. And they went to all the V8s after that. And then 70 is what it looked like again. They had a Monterey style grill again. The Le Moine model. Reclining seats. And the Monterey style rear end. Ford instrument panel steering wheel. LTD style interior. A S33 model. seats, the Montcalm, the Montcalm four-door hardtop and sedan and interior, the Rito 500 and interior, and then the plain Jane Rito again, and it shows a very austere interior in it. And the station wagon models. In 71, they had another change there. They went to the Monterey style grill again. And they only went to the Moncom that year. They quit making the Lemoyne model. So it's basically the same as a Monterey on the exterior. But it shows all Ford interiors in it there. Galaxy 500 interiors. And instrument panel. And the Rito 500. Two door hardtop, four door sedan, and, and the interior. And the plain Jane Rito. And 72 is identical again, except the grill had square square little squares in it instead of the horizontal bars and, and that was the only difference there and then 73 they changed again and 74 75 76 are all pretty much the same so go right to 75 and show you what a 75 looks like and this is the interior of a 75 meteor which is pretty much uh, Ford uh, seating in it and door panel but they were using the mercury instrument panel again it shows a Moncom, Moncom Tudor hardtop, Moncom interiors, and the Rito 500, which is the bottom of the line that year, and as they did away with the straight Rito, so it was upgraded a little bit there, because Canadians were getting a little more, uh, wanted to get a little bit more luxury, so they kind of discontinued the, the base model. And then by 79 they changed again and this is what the 79 looked like there it was just a basically a marquee meteor and they had one model that year the four-door sedan and was avoid a side trim and the 78 77 78 was uh, basically a marquee again same grill but 
avoid a side trim again and had a very plain interior in it and uh, and it was discontinued after 81 as the uh, sales of them went way down and then the meteor was never brought back again after that so that's the story on the meteor hope you enjoyed the video bye